Hill, October 16, 1943. Four months after work had already begun. This would prove to be a common practice with it. You see, Kelly Johnson and his team designed and built the XP-80 in only 143 days, instead of less than was required. to fly this jet and give you a look at its speed. It's a killing all these years later. It even sounds fast, doesn't it? So how did the Skunk Works get its name? Well, one day Culver's phone rang and he answered it by saying, Skunk Works, inside man, Culver speaking. Fellow employees quickly adopted the name for their mysterious division of Lockheed. Skunk Works became Skunk Works. The once informal name is now the registered trademark of the company, Skunk Works. And of course, proudly displayed, as you can see, on the tail of the Dark Star markup. The markup for the movie Maverick on static display here this weekend. In a nice slow pass of the T-33. Uh, last series of maneuvers. Flew through the Star Wars Valley uh, on the way here. With, uh, one of the, we have just the best of aviation photographers here for this show this weekend. As you can well imagine, the attraction is the base itself and all that's flying. Mike Killian, though, with some dramatic video. Marky Loper is here. Ricardo von Putenkammer. We have from all around the world, some of the best photographers from Japan have made sure they've come this weekend too to capture these historic and uh, uh, the rest of the cast together in the usual feel like they're the and you all how to react. 